Are you worried, though, about your future of the U.S. economy? Well, with so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time. It is gold. Gold, a biblical currency. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against the market volatility and economic instability. And with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investment, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Just go to PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. You can diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier with Noble Gold Investments. Streamline process and expert guidance. This election year, don't let election volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments says this is the time. Oh, and by the way, they if you do this, guys, at PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. This is the Donald J. Trump silver, one ounce of pure silver coin. They will give you these, 10 of these for free. Or, guys, if you just want to call them, and order them yourself. You just want to purchase these yourself. You can as many as you want. Or some of you by that rollover of that 401k or that gold IRA, you could either get 10 of those Donald Trump coins, all silver, or this 10 ounce silver bar of the, of the American flag. They, you can get that for free. Or if you want to buy them, you can do that. Again, go to pastorpaulgold.com. Or call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. All right. A dock worker strike set to begin Tuesday will shut down 14 major ports across the U.S. East and Gulf Coast, causing significant trade disruptions ahead of the presidential election and the holiday season. Tens of thousands of International Longshoremen's Association, or ILA, members will walk out over stalled contract negotiations. President Joe Biden, who has the power to pause the strike, is not planning to intervene, the BBC is reporting. The strike, centered on demands for higher wages and concerns about automation, could impact industries from agriculture to clothing, with an estimated $4.5 billion weekly to hit the U.S. economy if it continues. America is on the precipice of peril. This year's elections in the United States will most likely be the most contentious yet. Will everything go as the pundits say? Or will there be an October surprise? As both parties dig into their respective positions, what can you do as a conscientious voter? Join Paul Begley for this webinar as he hosts a panel of experts to discuss the ramifications of the 2024 election. October surprise. Sign up now at paulbegleyprophecy.com. The U.S. Space Force is set to collaborate with commercial companies operating in geostationary orbit for satellite services, including communications and navigation. Colonel Richard Kinsley from Space Systems Command's Commercial Space Office announced plans for a vendor pool named Maneuverable GEO, aiming to onboard innovative capabilities by next year. This indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract will enable various Defense Department agencies to procure satellite services. The initiative is modeled after last year's proliferated Low Earth Orbit Satellite Based Services Program, which initially selected around 15 providers for a contract potentially worth up to $900 million over five years. With increasing demand for satellite services from higher altitudes, the Space Force is particularly interested in maneuverable satellites that can provide services from different positions in geostationary orbit, as reported by Defense News. 
the Space Force recently awarded Starfish Space a $37.5 million contract to demonstrate satellite maneuverability, which Kinsley believes could significantly enhance military capabilities and responsiveness during conflicts. ShopRite is expanding the use of Tally, an AI-powered robot, to all 37 of its stores in New York and New Jersey, as well as 23 additional stores operated by Insira Supermarkets. Initially tested in 20 stores since 2022, Tally helps monitor shelf inventory, restock items, and ensure pricing accuracy using AI and computer vision technology. The robot can scan stores up to three times a day and process 15,000 to 30,000 products hourly, allowing staff to focus more on customer service, North Jersey has reported. ShopRite is also experimenting with other AI technologies, such as smart carts that enable self-scanning and recommendations. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meaning of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. Dozens of medieval and ancient skeletons have been discovered in the basement of a home in the suburb of Paris during an excavation by the preventive archaeological firm Archaeodunum. The excavation began after a homeowner accidentally found a skeleton while renovating. A total of 38 graves were uncovered, indicating the site was used as a cemetery from the 3rd to the 10th century. Previous assumptions linked these burials to a 7th century chapel, but evidence now suggests the cemetery predates it, with practices evolving from wooden casket burials in the late Roman Empire to plaster in the early medieval period. Ten graves were found arranged in a fan shape, each containing a single individual, Newsweek has reported. The remains will undergo laboratory analysis to determine sex, age at death, and burial context. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture, we've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming, but the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right.